Dan Perry here with another C++ tutorial for Dan on Tech. In this video we will continue looking at math functions and specifically trig functions and in, we, we saw the sine, cosine, and tangent functions uh, and we, if you remember, they have to have angles in radians so in order to do that if we've got degrees so let's say I've got a couple of variables x degree y degree and z degree and let me give that say x zero degrees put 90 degrees for y and maybe 45 degrees or let's make it a minus 45 degrees for the z degrees well if we need those values in radians we need to calculate those and so I'm going to go ahead and just create variables for X Y and Z which will be the radians value and in order to do the calculation we have to go and maybe look it up if you don't remember it but radians are equal to degrees times pi divided by 180 and remember 3.14159 for pi so we could go ahead rather than type that each time we could go ahead and create a uh, value a variable or even a constant for that um, <clears throat> so we don't have to remember it but we that would allow us to convert our degrees into radians to do our calculations so let's go ahead and let's actually go ahead and add a variable I could make it a constant but I'll make it a variable call it pi and if it's really a constant even though I've not defined it as constant we very often use capital letters and that's going to save me a little work in it so if I want to convert the degrees y into radians well I would say or degrees x let's use x first x is equal to uh, x degree times pi, which is in our case pi, divided by 180. And so if I do that calculation, that should give me the angle in um, radians. And I could do the same thing for y and z. And let's go ahead and do that. just change our variables and now I could use those to calculate my sine cosine tangent let's just do the sine so see out and we'll just see see out them sine of x is equal to and <clears throat> use the sine function and use the x in radians and now I'll copy that down and just change those to Y's and Z's and let's run this and see what we get well we get a 0, 1 and a 0 0.707 and if you're remembering your trig well 0 degrees the sine of 0 degrees is 0 the sine of 90 degrees is 1 
and the sine of 45 degrees is 0.707 in a fraction and since that was a negative 45 degrees that gave us that value <clears throat> we could go ahead and look at the cosine and or the tangent I'll just go ahead and do this with the cosine because I that that will be quick and the same would happen with the tangent okay and run it and again I picked numbers that I knew the answer for well the sine we said the sine of zero degrees is zero but the cosine is one the sine of 90 degrees is one and the cosine is zero that's not a zero but look at it 1.3 times 10 to the minus 1.3267 it shows time with this e that's times 10 or 2 or exponent to the minus 6 so that's a very 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 small number well remember when we start doing math operations especially with with floating point division we run into some rounding and if you converted that that would be point zero 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 one three two if I said the right number of zeros or point zero two three four five one three two so you can see that's a very very small number and that's how we would get some rounding errors in our math operations. But that's probably close enough for what we need to, to do. Okay, uh, in the next video, we'll continue looking at trig functions and, we'll, uh, and conversions. So we'll, we'll see how to do the arc tangent, arc sine, and arc cosine, as well as uh, continue with the conversions. Thank you for watching this Dan on Tech video. Please subscribe to this playlist so you don't miss future videos. Please check out and subscribe to our other Dan on Tech channel playlists.